Okay, I've made some improvements on the Add Multiple Effects dialog. I just want to make a short video to go over those changes and get any feedback or answer any questions anybody may have and take suggestions on it. So the Add Multiple dialog, of course we access through the context menu. Uh, we choose which effect we want. We'll hold con uh, the Shift key and then click the effect that we want to add. So that's going to bring us up our Add Multiple dialog. Uh, a couple of things are still the same about it. It still shows us right at this point that we could add 65 effects based on the starting time, which is determined by where we clicked, uh, the duration, and the duration between. Um, let's bump that up a little bit. And two things I've added is select effects. If you wanted to immediately do something with those um, effects after they're created, that will go ahead and select all the effects for you that you just created uh, so you can move on about your business. The other item is edit effects. Um, so if you want to set a color or uh, change the curve, anything like that, you can select that. Now that's what we're going to do for now. Uh, so we'll tell it we want to create eight effects. Uh, we want to edit those effects. We'll click OK. As soon as they're created, we're going to get the uh, editor dialog. So we go in here, we change our curve however we want it, just like normal. Uh, set our color, whatever we want to do. Hit OK. That's done. There's our eight effects. Get rid of these. And uh, the option I'm about to show you now is determined by where you click in relation to a beat mark that you may be wanting to use. And here, I want to start with the green beat mark at this location. So I'm going to need a right click before that mark. I don't have to click on it, just sometime before it. And if I wanted to start with the yellow, I would click sometime before the yellow, but after the blue. So we're going to start here, and we're going to add pulses. And this time, there's a new option here to show beat mark alignment options. We're going to click on that. It's going to give us a list of our beat mark collections. We're going to tell it we want to align to beat marks. And what we want to do is we want to fill the duration between the marks. And I want to fill every one of them. This will tell us that there's 513 possible effects to be added. If you notice, whenever you use the field duration marks, uh, between marks, it's going to take one away. And that's because the list is built off of a collection of available marks. If we're filling in between them, then obviously it has the last one there. After the last one, there's nothing to align to. So that causes us to lose one possibility there. Uh, I know that I need to create 34 to match each of these beats. And again, I'm going to edit those effects. Hit OK. Edit my curve. And there we go. That simple, that fast, that easy. Um, if we didn't want to fill the gaps, we tell it still to align to the beat marks. Uh, we only we want to use the green and red, and we're gonna give each effect a duration of one half second. Okay, and it's going to tell me there I forgot to change that. Okay, and that gives us our uh, effects added there. So, that should help some people, should make things a little bit faster. 
um, especially if you spend any time at all adjusting your beat marks to where you want them and then want to quickly add effects to them. The uh, options here will not be enabled until you tell it that you want to align the beat marks and also the colors will match the colors of the beat marks in your timeline so that should make it a little bit easier to know exactly where you're lining to um, if we wanted to create effects based on the yellow and green and we're gonna fill in between those and we want to do that eight times now this is going to create the effects between the yellow and green. Now, when we do that, it's also going to consider green as a starting point. So if what we wanted to do was just go yellow to green, we'll need to come back in and get rid of the uh, green to yellow times. And that's really a hard decision to make is what the user is wanting to do but it still should make things a little bit simpler and uh, faster for everybody.